Hello, my name is Connor. And my name is Rhiannon. <laughs> anyway, welcome to D19 News. This week's lunches are Monday hot dog, Tuesday chicken pad, ch chicken nuggets, Wednesday pizza, Thursday taco, and Friday cheeseburger. This week's events are May 6th through 10th is the book fair. So get ready to read. Also, it's Teacher's Appreciation Week, so be awesome for your teacher. It's also Take Care of Your Pet Week, so make sure you care for your pet. May 8th is National Nurses Day Week, so make sure to thank your nurse. The question of the week is, who is the author of The Giving Tree? This week's fun fact is six countries still do not have internet connection at all. Really? Yes, really. Now, now to Caden uh, with the sports. Wow, Wrigley Field! Hi, I'm Caden O with the sports. The Cubs are going to play the Rangers and the Cardinals and the Nationals. The White Sox are going to play the Mets. The Blackhawks are going to play the Wild seven times in their first playoff season this year. Now to Caden G with the weather. Hi, I'm Caden with the weather. Monday, high 66 and low of 49. Tuesday, high of 68, low of 49. Wednesday, seven, high of 73, and low of 51. Thursday, high of 68, and low of 53. Friday, high of 59, and low of 46. I'm Keaton with the weather. Now to Brandon with the expert of the week. Whoa, an Augustosaurus! <laughs> this sauropod looked like a combination of a Stegosaurus, an Ankylosaurus, and a porcupine. It was covered. It was covered with armor-like bony lumps called osteons. Its back was covered with two rows of spikes that stuck out sideways. Some spikes were up to 29 inches long, or 75 centimeters long. It had, it also had spikes on its tail. It's on its tail, and possibly on its neck. Ah, oh, obvious source is only known from parts of skeletons. Discoveries of new fossils may lead to scientists to believe they looked even more strange than we think today. The facts. After Augustin Martino, early Cretaceous, Sauropodoma plant 50 feet long, 50 feet or, or 50 meters long. Argentina, 1999. Now to Rhiannon with the Kid Feature. Hi, I'm Rhiannon with Kid Feature. And this week I'm interviewing Lorianne Babish. So Lorianne, to start off, how are you? I'm pretty good. Who is your best friend? Well, I really can't pick. I just have too many. <laughs> have you ever read the book Bulls? If so, you should really read the small, small steps in the next book. I think I would do that. And the the movie and the book was really good. If I heard this is your first year at the school, do you like the school? Yes, I do very much. I know this is a weird question, but do you like pickles? No. How can you not like pickles? I don't like the taste of them. <laughs> what is your favorite subject in school? Um, I would have to say language arts. I think it's fun. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have three cats, um, Buddy, Sarah, and Cleo. Now that's all for today. Now to Caden with the sp sports. This is Benjamin with, with the book review. For this week's book review, Scholarly Pleasant. And meet Scholarly Pleasant, Ace Detective, Snappy Dressel, Radio Tongue, Wit, Cracker Jack, Sorcerer, and Walking, Talking, Fire Showing Skeleton as well as ally, protector, and mentor of Stephanie Elderly, 
a very unusually unusual and darkly talented twelve year old twelve year old. These two alone must de defeat an all consuming ancient evil. End of the world over his dead body. And he's a good guy. Now with Kid Feature.